Welcome to Electron Online. You may wonder, are there any practical uses for the dot product? And it turns out there, is, there are many applications of the dot product in science and mathematics. One example of that is trying to figure out how much work is done by a force acting on an object, displacing it a certain distance. And assuming that the direction of the force is not the same as the direction of the displacement, the work done can be found by doing the dot product or by executing the dot product of the force times the displacement. And according to our equation, we can then say that the work done is equal to the magnitude of the force times the magnitude of the displacement times the cosine of the angle between the two. And notice that the work done is indeed a scalar quantity, it's not a vector quantity. So in this case, we have a force of 80 newtons and a displacement of 5 meters and an angle between them of 30 degrees that becomes the cosine of 30 degrees, which is 0.866. So with our calculator, we get 400 times the cosine of 30, which is 346.4. That would be 364.4 Newton meters. Now, a Newton meter is also a joule, so this is equal to 364.4 joules. Make sure I got that right. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not looking at this correctly. Let me try this again. It is 346.4. 346.4 newton meters, 346.4 joules. So that's the work done by the force displacing that object with a certain mass, a distance of 5 meters. Let's see here. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm actually done. This is how it's done. <laughs> I kind of lost my train of thinking for a while there. All right, we're good. Next one. 